Welcome back to The David Pakman Show. Welcome back to the show. You can support The David Pakman Show free by doing all Amazon.com shopping through the black banner at davidpakman.com. Click it, bookmark it, use it every time you shop. And you can also become a David Pakman Show member, which is, of course, made possible in part by liberalbias.com. Liberal bias can be found in the most amazing places, even single-celled organisms like yeast can be guilty of liberal bias. Think of that, Lewis, next time you're defrosting one of those freezer loaves of bread. Right. I will do that. Big, big news. Mm -hmm. All right. Congratulations. Uh, today's special new member, Tim Wilson. It's great to have Tim Wilson as a member. He sends stories into the show, which we use pretty often, I would actually say. Don't you think, Lewis? Yeah. He's a good source of... Uh information. There you go. If you could say one thing to Tim Wilson about the stories he sends in, though, what would it be? Useful. <laughs> Useful. No, no, I'm not saying if you could say what, describe the stories in one word. I would say if you could make a suggestion to him about his future story suggestions, what, what might it be? I'm perfectly happy with, with what he's been doing. I, so you wouldn't suggest anything? No. Okay. Wow. Okay. If it's not broken, don't fix it, Dave. Couldn't agree with you more. A naked man named Rudy Eugene, who's 31 years old, was allegedly eating, eating a victim's face, and he was shot and killed by Miami police. Six shots it took, around a half a dozen shots, to get this guy to stop eating this man's face. An incredible, horrific story. And the suspected cannibal was, they were like out in the middle of a, of a causeway, basically. It was a completely bizarre assault. And police, uh, city of Miami police are saying that this started around 2 p.m. when an officer re responded to two men fighting in the bike path right off Biscayne Boulevard. You know the area down in Miami where this happened. We um, all do. I mean, I, I have an idea of it. Yeah. Yeah. The officer approached and saw that the naked man was chewing the other man's head, according to witnesses. And the officer told the naked man to back away. He continued to assault. The officer shot him. And the attacker continued to eat the man despite being shot, forcing the officer to continue shooting him, according to witnesses, about six times. Shocking. What, what, what do you think when you hear this? Drugs? Yeah. Um, uh, you know, this, this also ties into the, um, the story we did about Germany and, and how many gunshots are fired by police here. Um, I'm just wondering why. I mean, uh, he wasn't, they didn't try to restrain the man first, right? They immediately just start shooting. But anyway, um, I guess that's a different story. That is a different story. Um, yeah, crazy, crazy. But a hell I, of a story. I, I would say, I would say, drug use or mental illness is at play here. I really doubt this was like a, a feral child who somehow grew up and was in uh, for thirty-one years in Miami. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, now we're hearing reports that the guy had been using bath salts, which I guess is like a new type of LSD that's popular in Miami. Have you heard of this? I have not. Do you use? regular bath salts i do not so you probably wouldn't use the lsd ones either i doubt it yeah probably smart yeah so i mean i was thinking initially maybe it's cocaine which is why the guy was completely numb didn't even feel the first gunshot or and just PCP. kept or pcp or something like that yeah but apparently some kind of lsd um investigators are asking for for more information initially they thought like i said cocaine psychosis but apparently now it's uh, oh it, he apparently was prompted to remove his clothing because of the use of LSD and then began eating a man's face. I don't know that we've heard anything specifically like this in recent history. Have we, Natan? I don't know why you're asking me. Am, am I supposed to know about this type of thing? Yeah, I think so. Uh, I don't know of any. You're the authority on cannibalism. No word if this guy was related to Mike Tyson in some way. Who Didn't he bite off someone's ear during a fight? I think it was a Vander Holyfield. He bit off fight. a piece of his ear, yeah. No relation, as far as I know. I got an email saying the reason this problem even exists, that, that as if it's a common problem, people eating other people's faces, is that it's people eating meat. meat. Regular meat eating is a gateway activity to eating humans, and that a vegetarian, no matter how crazed they are off of LSD, would never think to eat a guy's face. Did someone because... actually suggest that? Yeah. All right. Hmm. That's a new low. I, I hope it's uh, a joke. You know what? Sir Daryl actually agrees with this. I, check, I ran this by Sir Daryl, and he said he's, ab he's a vegan, Sir Daryl, mm -hmm. host of the Sir Daryl Radio Experience. He said absolutely that it's much less likely a vegan would ever do this. But it's I, still... I, I think, I think your, your normal cognitive processes go out the window when you're, when you're in a state like a this. A bath salt psychosis? Yeah, yeah. 
you've been in video game psychosis where you've got like the sheet over your head to block sunlight and it's been like an eight hour Diablo fest, but never, you've never done anything like this. <laughs> uh, no, 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 I have not. Not that I know of anyway. Been... I, I guess it's perfectly possible that at some point I might have blacked out and, yeah. and uh, cannibalized someone. But, uh... <laughs> I feel like your mom would have mentioned it. I mean, we were only 10 at the time. She would have right. somehow found out about it. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Jeez, it's an unbelievable story. But anyway, let me know if you think that a vegan would be less likely to turn to this under bath salt psychosis. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe we could study it with rats or something. Yeah.